Did you know Minnesota has some of the weirdest and most fascinating healthcare facts in the country? Let's start with a life-saving invention. In the late 1950s, engineers at Medtronic, together with physicians from the University of Minnesota, created the world's first battery-powered wearable pacemaker. Before this, pacemakers had to be plugged into the wall, so a blackout could be deadly. After one such blackout, Medtronic's Earl Backen built a transistorized pacemaker right in Minneapolis. Within weeks, it was keeping a patient alive. This Minnesota-made device didn't just save lives. It launched the state's massive medical device industry and changed cardiac care forever. It's wild to think that the first portable pacemaker came from Medical Alley in Minnesota, not a big coastal city. Here's another quirky fact. During the 2014 West African Ebola outbreak, Minnesota was one of the only states where groups of residents, especially from the Liberian community in the Twin Cities, chose to voluntarily quarantine themselves after visiting family back home. They weren't sick, but they wanted to reassure the public. Minnesota's health department worked closely with community leaders in a uniquely cooperative effort. With a large West African population and a pragmatic approach, Minnesota stood out during the U.S. Ebola scare. Minnesota full of surprising healthcare stories you probably never heard before. Subscribe for more.